Looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins? Look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys and today I'm going to go over what you guys need to be doing before the most feared promo. Now, as you guys do know, we did get our first teaser for the most feared promo as of yesterday night. Kind of a shame that we did get our most, our first most feared promo hint, not, not even, not even news, not even, not even an idea, not even anything, not even a, any, just a teaser, a hint, like a picture we got on the 21st of October. By this point, usually Madden, we either have the promo or we know what's coming or we have hints but this year we're a little behind on everything i don't know why i hope i mean i, I gotta say it's gotta be i just hope they're, they're focusing on next gen we're about to get some crazy mad that's all i can hope for at this point but here's my thing before we get into the video we go over what's what to do before most feared and what to kind of expect and stuff and make sure you go down below and join the poodle squad if you guys want a chance to be shouted out all you gotta do is like the video comment down below poodle squad and turn on the noti bell for today's shout out we got sn tesser thank you so much for ever being part of the poodle squad thank you so much Appreciate it for showing support each and every day. But moving on from that, guys, if you guys want coins, training, or anything to hit, hook yourself up for most feared and be ready, head over to my reserve down below. Use code Poodle for 15% off. Everything's crazy discounted right now. Take advantage. But moving on, guys. So first things first. We do expect some masters now. And in terms of, we're gonna start with the investments aspects of this. For some guys that I think could get cards. Now here's the thing. If you're gonna go and invest, don't invest in guys you think could get masters because if you invest in guys you think could get masters. You're going to be you're going to be upset because the thing is with masters they come with a power up so all i can say is just don't invest in anyone if you think they're going to get a, a master now here's some cards that I, i'm pretty positive will get cards now dante jackson got one last year for blitz i could definitely see him getting one his power up is pretty cheap it's like 6k again don't invest if you don't believe in this card getting one again it's you know it's at your own risk but i wouldn't buy the one to 14k or anywhere up here find some loans for 6k and here's the thing he doesn't get a card you don't lose much. He does get a card. You make 15 to 20k. Especially because he'd be probably the fast cornerback in Madden. That's one guy. Of course, we have not gotten a single Patrick Peterson card as well. Which you know, Patrick Peterson is probably going to get a card pretty soon. Now, I don't think he'll be a master though. I mean, he could, but I don't, I don't think he will be. Again, 3k. Not a bad investment. I think that's pretty decent. Now, this is kind of like a wild card for me. I don't know if he'll get it, but I, I have to imagine he's getting a card soon. Saquon Barkley. Yes, he's out for season, but that doesn't mean he's not going to get upgraded. He's still Saquon Barkley. I think he's going to either get a... He's got, he's got to get a most feared, right? Most feared. Maybe a Thanksgiving. But he hasn't gotten a single upgrade. And this is Saquon Barkley we're talking about. He's very marketable. People will buy packs for him. So, so those, are, those are some of the three of them. Now, of course, in terms of everything else, like who else could we get? I don't know if he will, but he's gotten... In the last two years, he got a... Two years ago, I believe he got a Thanksgiving card. Last year, he got a Christmas card. So, Mahomes hasn't gotten an upgrade yet. I could definitely see Mahomes getting an upgrade in the near future. Now, it could be a most feared quarterback. Uh, we could get a Tyree Kill. It's another one. But Patrick Mahomes, these are all the cheap ones you could really be looking into, picking up, and seeing if we maybe can get a card for them pretty soon. And again, even if they don't get it for most feared, you don't have to sell it. You can just hold on to it because these cards are going to get cards for the most part regardless and then one more guy real quick that i think is a pretty decent investment is going to be khalil mack now khalil mack another guy that he's typically a staple of most feared and he has not gotten an upgrade now i people probably suspect this one so if you can find him for like 10 to 12k i'd, I'd recommend scooping him up he will probably be the most dominant edge rusher in the game or at least tied for it and again people love khalil mack everyone's a big fan of khalil mack for the most part but that wraps up that now in terms of your team guys like I was saying the other day, so for the investments, go ahead, do what you want there. Comment down below some extra investments if you guys have anything you want to throw onto there. But in terms of your team in general, guys, the market will take a hit. Now, here's the thing. Here, here's our theory that we've been working with here. So typically, will a new promo affect the market? It depends on if the promo is good or not. If the promo is really good and bang your card, it will. If the promo is bad and people don't care for it, it won't. But here, here's the thing. Here's the kicker. The most feared promo starting super late this year. It may not even, it's probably gonna start the 23rd. So that, and it probably is gonna end by Halloween. So that leaves us with one week. So that means they're gonna drop all their bangers after each other. So like, it's like with uh, with the 50, right? When they first started, they got eight, so the market crashed. When we get three, it doesn't really affect the market as bad. Or when we get a long, a longer promo, it doesn't affect the market that bad. But we go from like weeks of no big promo like that to bang, everything at once. Maybe two, instead of one, like I did last time where they went, Ray Lewis first, paid a man like a week later. If they're just gonna do it like the same day or within the same few days, we're gonna get a lot at once, which also includes four heroes, maybe eight heroes total. 
so i do expect a lot to come in so as you see things are already going down because people are pre-selling so you want to catch the wave of selling things and now might be the time now if your card's too cheap like a vernon davis like 250 you don't want to sell that what you could do is what i always recommend wait till night wait till like nine o'clock at night ten o'clock at night eastern time for me so whatever it is for you guys wait till around that time and then when people are starting to get off and people aren't on the market as much this should come up to like 270 280 and what you do is you post them for like 290 post them for like 290 for like eight hours overnight I'm telling you, there's people who are impatient at night, late, then they just want Vernon Davis to play their friends with or play online with, and they go check and like, okay, I'll pay the price. And then after reduction, he makes 270. Yeah, it's only 20k more than this, but otherwise you would have made like only 2 230 versus 270. And it kind it kind of cuts out all the margin you're gonna be losing by doing so. But moving on, yeah, I would be checking out. See, like, okay, so Brett Favre, ooh, 320, 340, a little overpriced from where he was. I'd sell him. Deacon Jones, okay, still up a little bit. I'd sell him. You know, DRC still close to 500k. Maybe he's a sell. Chris Harris, LTD 500k, he's a sell. Like, you know what I mean? Go through, like, see, like, okay, these guys are overpriced. I think it's time I should get rid of them because with most fear, the things are going to come down. And now, even if most fear isn't great, off of the rip, if there's even one good card and people are opening packs, things are going to fly down. So, what you can do is sell your team now, sell what you want to sell now. And then when the promo drops, instantly go on the market and be like, okay, uh, like I said, you have Richard Seymour, you sold him for 120, right? Well, most fear drops. Oh, Richard Seymour is 95k, buy him back. Deacon Jones, 100k, buy him back. Ossie Minor, 90k, buy him back. Like you just sit on there, and as cards fly off the market because of packs being ripped, you can just go ahead and pick them right back up. Just keep picking them. That's, that's what I usually do. I'd sell beforehand, and then I just keep picking them right back up as things start to fly back down. And then eventually, people might be like, oh, you know, this promo really, these cards aren't that great. And they start to buy their cards back, and the market comes back to normal again. So pretty much all you do is sell here, bought here, and now you own them back here again. So that little margin is what you made in coins. And then you still have your team back again. It's it's a great it's a great strategy. Now I told you guys sell guys like Odell for 230 as he's coming down already to 190. People are pre-selling. It's pretty obvious here. People are scared of an inevitable market crash. That's why I sold Jimmy Graham for 315k. Look, he's 209k. I warned you guys. Hopefully you guys did follow my heatings there. But if not, you guys still have time. Some cards are still within you know within a, a reasonable sell point. But it's pretty clear people are pre-selling. That's the issue, right? So with Madden's as of lately, back in the day like Madden 13, Madden 25, Madden 16, Madden 17. There wasn't as much content and YouTubers and ESPN, not ESPN, sorry, EA Sports and Twitter pages. Like, people weren't that informed, so it'd be like, promo drops, markets here, massive crash, like, unheard of. Now, because people have, like, you know, us, YouTubers, Twitter, Twitch, people are so well informed that the market you see before promo drops sometimes is the promo market, because people pre-sell a lot. But again, even with these, this isn't a crazy level of pre-selling just yet, although it's getting there. So remember, if you wait too long and things are already starting to be pre-sold, sometimes you can even snipe off this. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh, you see Jimmy Graham in like the 180 range. You might just want to buy him because he will come back up. But it's pretty much it for that. Now, in terms of your team and stuff, like guys, like I'm going to go from, I'm going to read you guys my predictions again in case you guys didn't watch that video. I made a video real quick. But some of my top predictions for the most feared promo was Ray Lewis, Aaron Donald, Khalil Mack, Alvin Kamara, Patrick Mahomes, Tyree Kill. Derrick Henry just got a card, so I'm going to cross him out of there. George Kittle, Taki, uh, Takeo Spikes, Raheem Mostert, Cam Chancellor, Derek Thomas, and Henry Ruggs. So if you guys see any of those cards, you want to go pick up some of their power-ups. Again, make sure they're below 10K. Never spend more than 10K because they get them. See, some of these cards have potential to be a master, like Ray Lewis, Aaron Donald, Mahomes, Tyreek. These could be masters. So if they're masters, they come with the power-up. So just tread it, tread, tread it you know, with some risk there. Be careful. But definitely go if you see like you know if you see a few Aaron Donalds or Kalum Hacks for some reason for like 4K, 10, 6K, pick them up anyways because even if they do get a master, their card will go up again at some point. Or even if they don't get a card, they will get a card for Blitz or for Thanksgiving or for Christmas. And you just have it there. And 4K now, 30K later, even if it's tomorrow or in a month, it's still 30K later. You know what I mean? So take advantage of that. But pretty much wraps up that, guys. Pretty much it for the video. That's kind of what I think you should be doing before you go into most feared. Uh, get some solos done, of course. Play your team of the week solos. Get everything done because when most feared drops. There might be a house rule. So what you got to do? Grind house rules. Free solo player. Grind that. New currency solos. Grind that. Before you know it, you missed your team of the week solo and your legend solo and your 50 solos. So make sure you're playing all your solos. Get all that done, guys. But that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that on to boys. Can join the, join the family. Join the Poodle Squad. Again, you want to get shouted out, like the video, turn on the, uh, turn on the notification bell, and comment down below. Poodle Squad. Of course, be subscribed. And that's it. If you guys need coins, head over to my reserve down below. Use code Poodle 50% off. Take advantage, guys. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.